So Zach and I want to be able to camp anywhere, whether it's by a creek and deep in the woods, and anywhere probably means bugs. We have to have airflow in here because at least to start, we're not going to have any kind of air conditioning. So we came up with a solution after racking our brains for the best way to make bug screens. This is what we came up with, and I had a few requests to show how I made these, so I'm going to do that today. We decided we wanted to be able to move the screens because we didn't want to be looking at like black mesh all the time and, and have that messing up photos or anything like that. So a lot of people had recommended using screens from Walmart. Um, I went to our local Walmart, they had them. They're only $6 a piece. They're pretty cool. So I picked one up to try it. But the thing is, not all buses are made the same. So while this worked perfectly for a lot of buses, it doesn't fit for hours. You'll see that at that setting, it's too, too short. And then if I try going up one notch on here, it's too tall. And sure, there would be some way to modify this. But at $6 a piece, I wanted them to be perfect. I think that's a good price, but we wanted to do a lot of our windows, so we kept looking. Then we came across Fresh Air Blog, who was using Velcro and some simple screens on their window, and I thought that was a really great solution. So that's what we went with. I got some of this fiberglass mesh. I would recommend the fiberglass over the metal mesh uh, because this, it, it holds its shape better when you cut it. It's not trying to come apart and it's not stabbing you all the time. I also like that it's black instead of silver. I, I personally think that looks a little better since it's not reflecting as much. Then we used gaff tape. Um, if I were to do it again, I might recommend getting black duct tape I'm not sure that it would work better, but I have a feeling. I really like gaff tape, but we found that in some areas it was coming apart. So then on top of that, we used staples, which doesn't look the best, but this is more about function than form. And then finally, we got Velcro, but it took three of these boxes to do the windows in our bus. And we ended up doing like 14 windows. So it took about three boxes of this 15 foot Velcro to do about 14 windows. Something that was nice is this is the three quarters inch thick Velcro. I was able to cut that in half and that fit really well around here. So I got double the use out of these, but it did take almost three full boxes. So all I did was measure my windows cut a square out of this and then I overlapped gaff on the corners to give it a frame. I stapled the gaff tape for a little extra support. And then on the back, I put the Velcro. I do recommend uh, putting the, I think it's called the loop side of the Velcro on your screens and not on the windows because, especially in the case of our windows, which are covered with wool, um, that would, this kind, the loop part would stick to the wool and over time it would tear apart our curtains. So when I go to put this in, when the curtain's here, I just try to be careful to go under the curtain so that it's so that it doesn't stick to the curtain and tear it apart. And they're not perfect, but they do the job. And I'm happy with them. And I'm, I like that they're flexible, so we can just roll them up to store them. And I think it's gonna be a perfect solution. So this is just how we made them. There's a lot of really great videos out there with different solutions for bug screens. I'm gonna to link to those below. One of them is The Schoolie, Dean at The Schoolie, and we'll put a link to them. Uh, this idea I kinda of got from Fresh Air Vlog, so I'll put a link to them as well, and any others that we've found, I'll put below.
And we made the bug screens just in time because we've been working later into the evenings and we've been adding lights in the bus and the moths really want to come in. Um, these strip lights are really cool. They'll dance to your music. We did one strip of white and one strip of multicolor. I'll put a link to those below if you're interested. So this is a cool thing we just got. I didn't make this, it's a product, but it's a magnetic bug screen. And it closes itself most of the time. Every once in a while it tries to stick to the metal part of the stairs. But even the dogs have figured out how to use it. They're a little iffy about it, but they'll get used to it. Okay, come in. Come in. Come in. Good boy. Come on, Frankie. It attaches around the edge with Velcro. Uh, which has been fine for us so far and we like the the idea that we can take the whole thing down if we needed to But we actually can close the door with this up So we don't see any real reason to take it down if we see in the future that it's kind of ripping off It's pretty strong. We see in the future that it's kind of trying to rip off. We might um, Screw it in up here, but so far I really like it. I'll put a link to this below It's an Amazon link So if you buy it, it'll help us out. No pressure, of course But it's a lot of fun to play with Guys, we are so close to finishing the bus. We're looking good for our August 15th deadline. There are only nine days left. Ooh, Zach, we have a lot to do. Um, uh, make sure you hit that alert bell so you get the notification when we post our official tour video. Well, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope this was helpful to somebody. We have a new patron we'd like to thank, Sarah Cox. Thank you so much. Um, we want to remind you that we're going to be at the Living Simple Tiny Expo in Loveland on August 26th. Please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. It means a lot to us. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>